Now that I've created my wonderfully ugly banner, the next thing I want to do is create my rollover buttons. Now from my designs, let me go back to my design. I don't remember how many rollover buttons or how many buttons I'm supposed to have in total. So let me just quickly open this and let me copy this in so I can just have it as a point of reference. So I'm just going to paste it here just so I know I'm going to have what? One, two, three, four, five buttons. That should be fine. Five buttons. I want it to look relatively like this. Nothing special. So what are rollover buttons? Let me go to... I think it was the GameSpot website that had rollover buttons. Um, GameSpot, was it GameSpot? Yes. So when you're on a website and you move your mouse over something and something happens, these are rollover images, but rollover buttons, which you can use rollover images as buttons as well. That's perfectly fine, but I'm going to keep it very simple. Rollover buttons are these here where you have like a text or an image, a smaller image like this. And when you move your mouse over it, it changes. So here I have this going from what's that gray or black text to red text with a red underline and all of them do the same thing that's what i'm going to have for my section and how do i do this you're going to have to create two states for your button you're going to have to create a button up and a button down a button up or just button not mouse over button mouse over whichever one you want to call it but it's typically called a button up and button down i'm going to show you how to do this in dreamweaver as well but just before I get into Dreamweaver, I want to create all the stuff we need so that when we're ready to use something, we, we can just pull them in. So I'm going to go and create my home button first because on my document, it says home button is going to be my first one, right? So I'm going to go back to my Google Drive here. Yep. I'm going to go to new. I'm going to go to more. I'm going to go to Google Drawings again. Now, this is not the only program that does this, but because this is free, I love free stuff. It's that simple. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put zero one home button. Um, okay, let me give this a proper name so I can tell. So zero one, that, that means it's the first button. Home button, let's call this one up, right? I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to page setup and I'm going to change this again from standard. I'm going to go to custom and change this to pixels. Um, I think 500 by 500 is a good one. We can always shrink it. So 500 by 500 is probably okay. And because these are going to be PNG images anyway, then they'll have a transparent background. But actually, let me change that to the width. 500 by 500. Uh, I think that's the width. Let's change this to about 250. Yeah, that's fine. Now, again, this is just big because it's the only thing on screen. So I'm going to go to insert. Maybe go to word art again. I love using word art. It just, it just looks nicer. I think it moves everything at the same time. It, it just looks really nice. I'm going to go to Ariel. And what I might do is stick to the same one I used for the, well, what did I make earlier? Um, the banner. Use, use the same text I used for the banner, right? I'm going to want to center this. So that's the very center of that there. And what I'm going to want to do next is just choose the colors I want. So I think Grand Theft Auto is typically like a bluish type color. So I'm going to do, click on this, highlight it. I'm going to go to where it says fill color. I like the gradient thing and I might have it do something like this as the, as the normal text is going to have, right? What I can do is maybe do what they did on the, what's this website called again? The GameSpot website, which is to have a line come up under this when I move my mouse over it. That's quite a nice feature, I think. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to save this button for, it's already saved here. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this file and just change those things. So maybe I should shrink the button thing a bit more. So let me stretch this out a bit more, first of all. Okay, let me make that. Press shift, hold it down and drag the end of it and it will stick to that same aspect ratio. So things won't change for you too much. Put that there. Let me go to file page setup and change that from well, what was that uh centimeters to pixels and maybe change this to 200 and 200 might be a good size yeah still a bit wide but anyways let me just put it back leave it at that for now we can always change it later on as i said i need to make a copy of this a couple of ways we can do this we could do it from where we are right here you can go to file you can go to make a copy from here but i'm going to close this for now 
go back to my YouTube, but sorry, my Google Drive folder here with everything. Let me just refresh this quickly, just so it updates all the names of stuff I have. I'm going to see where it says here, home button up. I'm going to actually right click on this and you can do the same thing which says make copy. It's going to make a copy right here so we can see it like a file um, in a file directory or something like that. I'm going to right click on it, rename, and before I even open it, I'm going to call it um, home, or oh, I even spelled home wrong. I'm going to call this home button over instead of up. So when you move your mouse over it, that's when it's going to have this effect. Get rid of that stuff at the front, click enter. Let me go ahead and rename this one as well because I did that wrong. Call this one home button. Yep, home button up. Perfect. That's done. I'm going to want to edit the over one now. Now you're going to do this same process for as many buttons as you want. For me, I only need five. I'm keeping it nice and simple. I'm going to uh, insert, what did I say? A line under here. So it mimics what they had on the... Um, the game spot page but let me change this color first so i'm going to click on where it says fill color i'm going to choose the slightly lighter blue maybe do i like that one that was the same one there yeah this one is all right and i'm going to put may maybe a blue line underneath here as well so i'm going to insert a uh, shape i don't have no idea where lines are in this so i might just have to do Oh, here we go. Line. I didn't see that. Here we go. Line. Let me draw one from here to here. Now, this line is not going to be straight because it's so thin. Let's make the size about eight. Yeah. That, oh, what's this? Let's get rid of that one. Don't need that one. Actually, something I just realized, which is probably something you should realize as well. Um, we need to change the size of the text. I didn't realize that before. So let me go back to my document. The longest one we have is probably contact us or buy game. So it's a good idea to create the biggest one first. I just made a mistake. I didn't even realize that. Create the biggest one first and have that as the width and the height of everything. And when you do the others, you can copy and paste and change the text out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this one first and then show you how to do that one. This one might need to be edited later on, which is fine. Uh, line color. Uh, that blue i don't know right just yeah that's fine let's just choose a random blue that we like and leave it at that now the next thing i'm going to do let me save this well it saves by itself another good thing about using google, google drive or OneDrive or any one of these cloud storage cloud computing services as soon as i do something it saves so if you pay attention to here where it says saving i'm going to move this back to where it was and look saving 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 saved to drive so as soon as you stop doing something, your document or your file is saved. I don't need to worry about losing my file. I'm good to go. So I'm going to close this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of the original one that said 01 button up. And I'm going to change this to 01. Uh, what's the biggest text here again? The longest text? Probably contact us or buy game. C-O-N-T-A-C-T -T space U-S. That's 10 characters there. Buy game has four and three, seven and one, eight. So contact us. It is just just trying to make sure. Just trying to make sure. Don't judge me. Um, let's close this. Let's go back to this one. I'm going to right click on this one, rename it. And again, I'm going to call this one zero two, maybe. Um, was it contact us? Yeah. Cont contact us button. I'm going to call this one up as well. That's fine. Press enter. I'm going to go into this. I'm going to open this one. Um, a good thing to do, guys, is to pause the video when you see something. Go and do it on your screen and come back. I'm going to type in here. So to edit this text, I'm going to double click anywhere on this area. Type C-O-N-T-A-C-T. -T. Contact, contact us. Yeah, let's just leave it, leave it as contact. That's fine. I think that, that's okay. It changes it, but look, you using contact on this size um, thing is way too big. So let me shrink contact us down. And to do that again, I'm going to press highlight it, press shift and drag this in just so we can have it fit on this area here. Press shift, drag it in some more. That's probably a good one there. Maybe not the best idea in the world, but that's fine. We have contact. Now, this is up. I need to create the 
overstate so that when I move my mouse over it, the color changes slightly and the line comes underneath. So what I'm going to do, this time I'm going to make a copy from here. Oh, so to do that, I go to File, Make a Copy. It's going to do it here, and I can choose the name of the copy straight away. 02 Contact Us button, let me say Over, not Down. I think it was, yeah, Over. And then Make a Copy. It's going to open both of them at the same time, as you can see. So this is the one that was already open. This is the one I just opened now, the one I just created called Over. I'm going to get that line underneath, so go to Insert. I think you can do it from here, actually. Oh, yeah, here we go. But let me show the long way, so if you're not sure, you can always find it. Insert, Line, and then go to the first one there. Or maybe I could do a squiggly line. That could be quite cool. Uh... It's not too, you know what, I'm, I'm going to use this, this one. I think I'm going to use this one. Let me just draw the line myself a bit better. And I think it smooths it out anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Let's leave it at that. Let's make the thickness about four. And the color, let's make it, I think yeah, I used that one before. That's fine. Good to go. So that's what my over is going to look like. And I need to change this color here as well, I believe. So I chose the fill color to be... I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. I think it was the bluish looking one like this. And that's it, I'm done. So again, I've got two states for my button. I've got my up state when nothing is being done. And I've got my over state when I move my mouse over it. There's sometimes a click state as well, where once you click down, it gives a slightly different animation. But we're not going to focus on that now. We're going to leave these two as it is and use them when we get to Dreamweaver. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my other buttons, but I'm going to speed this section through. And so you guys can see what I'm doing anyway. Feel free to pause. Again, any questions you have, drop them in the description. I will try my best to answer them as soon as I can. So here we go. Speed time. Now, the way I've done this is not actually the best way to do this, but it's fine. Again, this is a very tiny website. Now, when I come to improve it, I can always come back and edit these things. Ideally, what you want is for you to have, let's say the longest one was contact us, right? You want to have your longest um, width and you're going to want to have your stuff that fits with inside, um, inside of it. And you change your text, but the text should be the same size. But we're not going to worry too much about that. No, that's... That's fine. We can work with this as it is. I'm going to close this. Uh, I think I want to change the home button. So I do think it was a bit big. Or maybe I should leave it big because it is the home button to make it stand out a bit more than everything else. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. It's fine. Let me just double look, look at this one again. I didn't have... This was the up. I need to find the over. Uh, where's the over? Here's the over. Um, maybe have this one have the straight line. I don't know. Yeah, let's leave it at that, just so it stands out a bit from the others. Now again, I'm not going to show you guys how to use this just yet. This is just us creating the rollover buttons. Now, if rollover buttons are something that you did not want to use for your website, I should have probably said this at the beginning, but skip this video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Rollover buttons are very good because it shows an extra thing that you've done, an extra thing that you've created, 
and let me go back to my document here i do believe it says something about creativity uh oh yeah demonstrate individual responsibility creativity and self and, oh, and effective self-management so my creativity as bad as it is is coming through here because not only have i created a banner i've created a logo um sorry not a logo um rollover images as well what i will also do this is this is going to be a weird one is video myself playing the grand theft auto 5 game and have that as a video i'm going to do the um the podcast thing myself so i'm going to get a hundred percent for creativity because i sat there and created all these features and all these elements for the website mines myself now i might not get everything for um effective self-management because my time is rubbish and i didn't finish everything because i didn't manage everything on time but for the creativity part you're going to get well i'm going to get marks right if you choose to do something similar you should create a few elements at least i would say maybe two or three banner is really really easy it doesn't have to be pretty or perfect rollover buttons that's a must you don't have to use google drawings you can find a random website um if i go to google and i do roll over button generator that should be a thing that seems like that should be a thing okay let's see yeah here we go perfect so you can use one of these websites let me copy this link as well and put it in the document so i can paste it in the description of the video there we go so you have a generator for all of one so you don't even actually have to do all that i just did you could just do this and then when you're finished you could download the png image and you're done this is a decent rollover button we can have it as let's try king boss there we go that's all right uh they even have a logo on there so can i change oh here we go we can change the icon um computer search oh here we go that's nice this, this is actually really cool all right so you can create a rollover button from this website here i'll drop the link in the description you don't have to do all i just did so this is another way to create rollover buttons you download your pngs but again i will show you how to do this later on create the buttons and leave them there if you want to download your pngs just so you have them for future work that we're going to be doing that's fine for this website but for the google stuff you don't need to download them just yet all right so thanks for watching and then the next one i'm going to show you maybe how to put together a quick video and then the one after that i might show you how to record a quick audio clip and we can use all of those elements that we've created on our website to get maximum marks of creativity. So maybe using Dreamweaver was a good idea because I can program, well, make all that stuff, add it, and it will be, I'll, I'll be able to send those files directly to the examiner so they, they can actually see what I created. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.